Good afternoon. Uh, as you can see, we are back uh, in Chicago after a brief trip to the East Coast to see family. Uh, it's great to be home, and it's great to be back uh, with all of you. As we were driving to Chicago, we heard the news reports of the horrific, horrific disaster in the Miami area. Uh, last I heard, 159 people unaccounted for. Dozens of them are, are Jews, people who I don't think anyone I know personally, but people whom I know know people personally who are still missing. Uh, I want to encourage everyone who's able to, to be in shul this Shabbat so that when we say the Mishaberach, the prayer on behalf of those who are sick and injured, that your voices and your prayers can join all of ours together uh, on behalf of the sick and injured. Uh, and if you're not able to be in shul physically, please add your prayers to the prayers of the community uh, so that um, and all of us, hearts beating together, caring about the same things, concerned about the same things, and praying for the same things can uh, can, can, can be united in that way. I, I always find it so so important when there's hard news that I am able to, a short time later, join other good people who are caring about the same things I care about um, in shul. And, and I hope you take advantage of that. Again, either whether you're able to join us or whether you're able you know, to join your prayers alone. People are suggesting the typical... Uh, selections from Psalms, really anything that speaks to you, whether it's 121, 126, 127, uh, number one, number two, it doesn't matter. Start at the beginning and, and, and stop when you when you reach one that, that speaks to you. Uh, really any anything to give voice to our, our hopes that um, uh, even just one more life can be rescued from this rubble uh, and uh, that those who are injured will heal and those who are mourning will, will eventually find find comfort within within their community. Uh, uh, Sunday is the fast of the 17th of Tammuz. It's the beginning of the three weeks. It's always a hard, harsh time uh, in the Jewish calendar. Uh, this year, we don't have to dig very deep to find um, thoughts and memories and inspiration for that sadness. Uh, but it's a hard time, but also a time that ends with, with some measure of consolation, the consolation that comes from knowing that we've survived great adversity in the past, the consolation that comes from knowing that we mourn with others, with a Jewish community that, that unites in its grief uh, and that enables us to unite in rejoicing ultimately. Uh, and uh, just as we suffered, we also have faith that comfort and consolation and redemption will, will ultimately come. And so the three weeks are always, always a hard time for me, always a hard time for the Jewish people, but they should also inspire us, propel us forward with hope for redemption. Again, I'm really, really glad to be back with all of you uh, this coming Shabbat and the coming days, and I hope to pray with you on Shabbat and on the weekdays and uh, weeks and months to come. Shabbat Shalom.